Hello? Oh, God, cool. But we do need a few bits and bobs, but we're quite flexible around that anyway, so, okay. yeah. Okay. Open to anywhere, actually, down that side. Hi, guys! What's up, guys? We're back with some more questions. Listen, yeah, basically, it's Wednesday. Since Monday. Wednesday? Yeah. Wow. Since Monday, me and Sid have been on. So we're kind of like on one meal a day. But in the mornings, we have one hot drink, so a coffee, basically, and this is it. Yeah. Um, and then we just have one meal in the day, just one meal that is cooked yeah. by Sid so far. Uh, and we eat it around five or six or seven. It's been seven, actually, because we've been getting yesterday. home late. So we eat one meal a day, basically. Yeah, and so... And it's been working pretty well for us. Well, basically, that's why we're a bit dead. It's not dead, actually. I feel like we, I do have energy compared to when we eat breakfast yeah i mean when we have big breakfast we find that we're really unproduct unproductive i think generally and we're very lethargic afterwards so we've done this thing i've partly sid wanted to do it anyway just to get healthy and i partly wanted to do it as well to help me get started to help me to help me with ramadan which is around the corner because i yes. haven't I haven't properly followed Ramadan for the last two years because of breastfeeding and pregnancy. I did fast some of the days, but it wasn't the same because it was just on and off. Mm. Whereas this year, I got no excuse, yeah? So, basically, I'm doing it for that, and I'm also doing it because we get a cooked meal at the end of the day, rather than eating out all the time. Yeah, we haven't eaten... Which eat is bad for Hannah. We haven't eaten a... Uh, uh, actually home cooked meal yeah, in about a Yeah, Hannah needs like home cooked meal so it's kind of it's kind of like for a lifestyle change isn't it? Yeah, I think it, it works well for me because I'm not really uh, that big of a eater anyway. And, yeah, and um, I'm a massive eater so it also works well for me. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing new. People have do, been doing this for centuries. Yeah. Like fasting basically. It's basically fasting. We're it's fasting, fasting but it's not the religious fasting yeah. because obviously yeah. I'm having a coffee in the morning. We're not jumping on any sort of bandwagon or anything. The people have been doing this shit for centuries. We're not like... Uh, it's, it's a funny thing. I was looking at something yesterday and it's just funny how uh, Europeans and I don't want to sound racist but white people <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they seem to uh, take everything and act like, you know, it's the new thing. Like yesterday, like I was looking... Like Miss Wack! I was looking at it yesterday. This should be a separate video. What is this about? Like, okay, should we make it a separate video? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the new craze, fasting. The new thing. Oh, stuff people have been doing for centuries. But it's the new thing all of a sudden because you discovered it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, that's a separate video. Let's get straight into the question after our little diet update. So... The title of this email is I want to be bulimic. Trust me, you don't. Which is a very worrying title. That's a, that's a weird one. Okay. I know just by reading this title you're thinking, what the hell? Yes, we are. I'm a 15-year-old female, so very young. I don't know what's wrong with me. At times I feel so depressed about my body and beauty that I'm starting to hate going out. Mm, I was like that. I wanted to colour my hair thinking that it would make me feel better, but instead I got told off from my parents. I think the easiest way for me to lose weight is to puke my food out. Mm. And I have tried, but I couldn't stick my finger down for long. I know this is wrong, but I just really want to do this. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Oh, no, 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 no. No, honey. You have been blessed that you couldn't keep your fingers down your throat. Because if you could, you would, you'd literally get addicted and you'd start, you'd become bulimic like that. Trust me, you do not want to be... You don't want to fall into that trap of puking your food out because you think you will lose weight. You won't lose weight, you'll become unhealthy, both mentally and physically. As, ev as some of our viewers know, uh, Dina used to be bulimic. Yeah, but not puking bulimic. Yeah, but exercise bulimia, that's what she had. And if you could puke, you probably would. Yeah, the reason <laughs> I tend to exercise is because I couldn't make myself puke either. Yeah. Okay. The reason I turned to this exercise extreme form of exercise or whatever it is, is because I physically couldn't keep my fingers down my throat either. Okay? And then you went on to laxatives. And then I went on to laxatives. Bulimia, whatever that is. Well, it's still bulimia. It's There's just... a lot of type of bulimias, you know, and then Dina went on to laxatives where she would, um, you know, take like 20 a day or whatever, uh, which could potentially kill you. And the thing is, I don't even want to say to you, 
go and exercise instead because you you'll end up no because that's end up a being what I was with and the exercise. it's very very it's not just unhealthy you, it's life threatening you have to go and see someone you really I think yeah I think so I think there's this thing where people think it's extreme to go and see like a counselor or a therapist. But I don't think it is. I think it should be a lot more accessible and a lot more normal for more people to go and talk about their yeah. issues to therapists or counsellors. And accessibility-wise, you firstly need to go see your doctor, obviously. You might think it's extreme and you, you won't be able to tell your doctor, but once you get into that doctor's room, right, you will probably just pour your heart out. Like, it won't be hard to tell them these things. It'll be a lot easier to talk about it than it is to your friends or your parents, 100%. And the doctor will sort you out, my friend. They will tell you, you know what, do you want to see, speak to somebody? Because we can... And because you're quite young as well, you can speak to people who, you know, <coughs> will specialise in talking to younger, you know, to younger ladies. But I think it's really important to do that. And I, th and I think you shouldn't think that it's a massive step and it's over the top or you don't really need to. Because at the end of the day, you need to because you'll prevent something worse happening later on. Or you'll prevent having this problem for a very, very prolonged period of time. Like, I was going through all that for years, man. Yeah. Six, seven, so many years. Some people go literally their whole... When did you start? At what teenage. Age? Like, when did I start? Like, when did it start? Was it at 15 or yeah, was, was it before then? I think it was probably around about 15, maybe... Around about that age where you start, you know, yeah. being conscious and of what, how you And look. sort of what, what would be the first steps for you to get Well, over it? this is good because she's emailed us. Yeah. So she's already taken the first step. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You yeah. know, when I when I was doing it, I didn't think... Like, I knew, okay, it was a bit wrong. Mm. But I didn't think, like, oh, it's a massive, big problem and it's a, yeah. big, it's a, big, it's a big deal where I need to, like, get help or... Yeah, people need anything. to understand. Like, it's not just... No, no people don't realise. Like, uh, some people don't realise that eat, disorder. eating disorders or any kind of disorder, they, they, they're down to ment mental illness. And that's actually a very important thing to look at. You know what I'm saying? People usually just brush it off. And I don't want to say that your parents might, but you might want to talk to, say, your mum or something like that. Yeah, or you might not, which is also fine. Yeah, that's honestly. also fine as well. But talk to somebody because some mums just won't understand it. I know for a fact that loads of mums in the communities don't see it as a big deal. They don't see that as a big... That It doesn't... It's not... A, they don't... If, Remember, like with uh, yeah. my story and the and the poo tea. Yeah, I think you know, nowadays, like they they I think nowadays it. they're more switched on. You will probably, if you do talk to your mum, you're probably not gonna tell her the extent yeah. of it either. You're just gonna say a little, a little bit to get the vibes, but you're not gonna give her the full details. Whereas if you give her the full details, she probably be like, "What the hell?" Like I was lying to my mum as well about how many laxatives. Oh, well, you were. I was lying. I was like, I just taken two, like it says on the packet. Oh, great! Just in case you get told off, right? Obviously. And you said you got told off for, for dyeing your hair. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't have been allowed to dye my hair at 15 either. Uh, it's, it's, that's normal. It's normal because parents get worried about things like bleach and like yeah, things yeah. like affecting you. Because like now, if I was to think about Hannah dyeing hair, I'd be like, don't touch your beautiful hair. Are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, because you're, you're going to it. ruin it. You're going to ruin it, literally. So that's normal. That's, that's normal. nothing to be like. Yeah. There's nothing to be depressed about, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, if you can't diet yet, then change up your hairstyles. You know, there's there's loads of things you can do, but don't make yourself puke and get into that phase because you it's not going to make you feel better. You most likely do not need to lose any weight whatsoever. Even if you're a little bit overweight, you don't need to lose weight because you're 15 and as you're you're still growing, as you grow, that will just happen naturally. Yeah. You know what I mean? It will just happen naturally. I don't think you should worry about your weight. Be one of those girls that you see now online, you know, that really embrace, yeah, embrace their bodies, whatever the shape. The problem. I know with, it's hard to do that, obviously. Forget that. Yeah, advice. especially it's nowadays. It's really hard to do. Yeah. Um, the problem with with uh, you know this day and age is you have social media and you have all these outlets where people are perfect, where they take the perfect angle and they. The thing is, even even the over a, even the overweight people yeah, or they take a the curvier, you know, of a bigger girls. Still look perfect. Yeah, but and, I, and like for example, when I see like oh okay like curvy girls or or bigger girls and they're like a plus size model whatever it whatever it's called I don't even know whatever the terms are right they are still to me unrealistic images 
of women who are bigger or overweight because they're all in proportion, still with a tiny waist. They're big in all the right places, which is unrealistic to me. It's not a realistic... You know what I mean? The thing Even is... Even all the big girls yeah, are like you can't, not realistic you can't representations go, of actual big girls. You can't go by what is online and what what you see on sort of Instagram on on or whatever. You can't you can't go by that because there's certain ways of standing, there's certain ways, certain angles where people look thinner, people look better, certain you know, you know what I mean. You know, some people will stand a certain way in every picture because they know they look good that way. Like me. You know? Or they 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 have a waist if they stand this way or they have a jawline if they do if they touch their tongue to Lily. the top of their mouth. Look at my chin. Look, look, you know what look I mean? Here, yeah? this, it's, it's, it's unrealistic. Don't go by what you see online. As, and as well as that, there's Photoshop. And Photoshop is Not very... Not even Photoshop anymore. Just photo yeah. editing apps that yeah. are just as good it as Photoshop. Are sometimes. very accessible and people could do whatever they want with them. And it can re look realistic. And by first glance, you can be like, oh shit, this person's perfect. When in reality... And then you meet, this is why you meet loads of people online that are from online in real life and you, you're like, oh, you look different. Yeah, don't, don't. I get that a lot. <laughs> don't compare yourself to women and also men. Men, don't compare yourself to other men that you see online because it's not real. It's not real. And, uh, and especially because of social media and all of this stuff, you're comparing and you are your own worst critic and you're like, oh, fucking hell, look at my nose. Even me. I'm just like, yo, man, if I could get rid of this bump. It's just dying and for all a of nose this job. Did, Oh, this is bad. Oh, I don't know. And, and then when I ask Dina, Dina's just like, yo, there's nothing wrong with you, man. Yeah, Same with I'm Dina. Dina, Dina, Dina will say this to me. Dina but will say that like... to me. But I don't actually see it. I don't see it. And I'm just like, no, you, you don't need any of that stuff because... There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? So you How are your own themselves. worst critic. The thing is, the worst thing you can do in any aspect of life, body image, work, anything, achievements, is compare yourself to somebody to else. To other people. The worst thing, man. That will get you so down. It won't even motivate you. Because will get you down. Even those same people, if... The perfect people, if they were to see you in real life, they'd probably turn around and be like, oh shit, this person's perfect. And then you're in turn saying, oh shit, this person's perfect. So but really, when you both meet each other, you both look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way of taking a picture. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you see, you see it now with loads of women and their stomachs, that loads of women are taking, uh, you know, pictures of their stomachs, like when they're sitting down with all the rolls, and then when it's stretched out and it's all flat. Yeah. Everybody know? has roles when they sit down. The only people who don't, the slimmest person, who don't like, have roles when they sit down are probably me when I was fucking 14. I didn't have any responsibility in the world. <laughs> just, just go I've on. I've never, <laughs> I've never not had roles. I've it's had very roles normal. all of my life. It's very normal to have roles. I've had so, I've got so many roles. It's a very normal thing to have roles, mm. especially when you're sitting down. You should have roles show when you're sitting down. Show them your roles. Oh, I'm not gonna show anyone my roles. <laughs> Wrapping up the advice. You should, I strongly, strongly suggest You that. should definitely go see someone and surround yourself, even if it's sort of counselling, or counselling like in, in a group, you surrounding yourself <laughs> with actual women that have been through this. Or if there's a teacher that you trust, that you really, yeah. you know, everyone has their favourite teacher that's got proper banter and you can talk to them on the level. Yeah. If you've got a teacher like that, talk to them, they'll help you if you, see think, a, if you think it's easier. See a doctor, have a chance talking to your mum. If your mum is, you know, will actually take action then she can actually help you out through this if your mum doesn't listen don't if you don't, don't let that yeah, put don't, you don't, off. don't don't let that put you down don't because you there's off. a there's plenty of people out there that will take you seriously and will listen to you um but it is a big issue don't take it it's 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 not a small thing don't don't just think oh yeah it's a phaser or or you will end up uh, regretting, in a downward spiral. Yeah, in a downward spiral and, and later on in life regretting that you didn't take action sooner. Yeah. And, and Dina knows from experience. Yeah. So strongest piece of advice, only piece of advice, talk to someone. Talk to someone. And if the first person doesn't listen, go and talk to somebody else. Anyways, as always, um, there's a comment section below. So have a look at the comments. If you guys uh, have any suggestions or anything for the person that emailed it in, then... Uh, Drop your suggestions in the comments. See you next time. Bye. Bye.